Choosing a breeder might be overwhelming. I've been there and I know how it may feel. Where to look, who to choose, and what to look for. Those are often the most asked questions I get. And today, we're here to go through everything together. I'm no dog trainer or breeder. I'm just sharing everything based on my own experience. So let's dive right in. Hey all, I'm Anais and this is Aoki. We share everything Shiba and dog related. Welcome to the fam. First off, Google is your ally. Dive into that rabbit hole and start looking into breeders in your own area, your state or your country. I myself chose one based on proximity as I did not want to deal with border restrictions and all the hassle that came with it. As you might have guessed it, we were deep into the pandemic, so I was restricted to breeders around my area. I was also more comfortable at dealing with breeders who I could meet in some way. So once you pin down a few options, go to their websites, their social media and root through every single detail. You have to scour through testimonials, descriptions, photos and videos, but do not limit yourself to that. All of this will help you understand their business, who they are, and also kind of situate yourself into what you are looking for. Now that one might not be for everyone, but I think that a call helps situate a person. This is what helped me in my case at least. This will help narrow down a few breeders that you pin down and that you included in your list based on your own preferences. You don't have to make it super formal, just a casual conversation to ask about their shivas and also check if they have any that are available in the next few months or years. Remember that you are making sure that you are seeking resources in finding an ethical Shiba Inu breeder instead of choosing a puppy mill or backyard breeder. With that in mind, the breeder you are looking for must be able to provide you with breed history a record of the lineage of the pups as well as testimonials of other parents who got their pup from them. Transparency is key and to my point of view you need to trust the breeder you are choosing because they'll be the one who will give you your pup, the one you will raise and have by your side for the next 12 years or so. So you want to make sure that the pup you're given is in top shape and bred according to the norms. So take your time in that process, be thorough and get a clear picture of where their dogs are from, who they sell pups to and how they breed their dogs. It is key that you question away. Speaking of questions, there's not such a thing as too many questions. Here are some that might help you and keep in mind that those are just a few examples. Feel free to inquire about things that are related to you. So you want to know what type of health screenings the breeder does, what type of health certificate or warranty the breeder offers. Also how often the breeder breeds their pups and what's the minimum breeding age for each Shiba Inu. Something you want to know is if the breeder keeps the mother on the premises. So will the breeder allow you to see the mother? How long does the breeder keep the Shiba Inu puppies with their mother? That's key to ask. Also, what's the living condition of the breeder's Shiba Inu? Will they be microchipped and vaccinated before they are handed to you? Do the pups need to be spayed? And you also want to know if the breeder can provide a record of their family tree. Something else that might come up is if you need to include your pup in dog shows, the dogs that you got from the breeder are part of 
the breeder's Shiba Inu family. So they need to make sure to keep the lineage and make themselves accountable. So all of those questions are legitimate. Don't shy away and ask as many questions as you want to. Speaking of kennel clubs, I highly encourage you in visiting the American Kennel Clubs website and for Canadians is the Canadian Kennel Club. I would also encourage you in expanding your research and reading blogs and websites, any resources you can get your hands on so you can have a clear understanding of the process and how it works. This video was highly requested and I hope that you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you didn't yet. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all on the next one. Bye!